Hello and welcome to Sam Dan's Couch. In this video review series, I will look at the new Apple iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2021. From unboxing, benchmarking, gaming, attaching accessories, camera quality and professional content creation use. I hope you enjoy the first hand insights as I go through each section of my review. Part 1. Unboxing, overview, display quality. In typical Apple tradition, the unboxing is a nice and effortless experience. Even the box for the box is specially designed to make the opening process a breeze. This is the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch in all its glory. Along with the iPad Pro, I also got the new Magic Keyboard. The new white color is beautiful and has a premium feel. The keys press nicely, have a comfortable travel and is by far better compared to the keyboard of my MacBook Pro 15 inch from the year 2016. The magnets are holding the iPad Pro very tightly in place and perfectly align it to the contacts so that you are able to charge the iPad with the case. Right out of the box I can already see that the supplied USB-C cable is way too short. Measuring just one meter, it can even barely reach from the floor where your power plug might be sitting up to a desk. Not a huge issue, since you can buy very nice and cheap USB-C charging wires online, but for the price that you pay for an iPad Pro, I expected a longer cord. Especially if you compare it to the USB-C wire you get with a MacBook Pro, which has double the length. The supplied power adapter is finally able to let you charge your iPad Pro and use it at the same time, something that wasn't the case with older iPad Pros. The only downside of the new adapter is that Apple got rid of the travel adapter feature. So no more easily converting to a different plug norm when you travel to another country. A shame, really. Again, you can buy the old-style power adapter separately, or just use another USB-C charger you might already have. The iPad Pro itself looks and feels absolutely stunning. Great build quality and the new mini LED display is gorgeous. Don't pay attention to the clickbait videos out there claiming horrible blooming. I guarantee you that you are going to love this display. The darks are super deep and the colors and the brights are amazing. HDR looks just as great as it does on an OLED display. I'm showing here my HDR video capture of Microsoft Flight Simulator, which you can also find on my channel. Taking videos off screen can only remotely show how beautiful this display is, but it can hopefully give you an idea how beautiful it is. In my next video, I will cover the power of the M1 processor, doing some benchmarking and showcasing how playing games on the new iPad Pro feels. Thank you for watching and please consider giving this video a like and to subscribe to this channel to never miss a video from us. See you next time on Sam Dan's Couch. <laughs>